Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Continuing to our uh, Civil 3D class In the previous class uh, We study about the dual pilot uh, Different type from assembly star to Up to daylight in the last uh, class Today uh, we will learn about the generic type Which is also very important Tape and tool pilot. Suppose uh, many times we have center median and uh, both side we have uh, space uh, after the center line and then after it starting the curve stone like thing. So for that purpose, these uh, link are using uh, sometime the footpath and uh, inside the footpath for different places. It is uh, very useful. Tape, so we will discuss today this uh, one okay the first of all I will create uh, assembly and I will click here the first one is uh, link multi uh, if you are uh, connecting multiple shapes like to your uh, assembly sometime you need uh, on the left side and the R on the right side there is New Jersey curve stone many things after those so you can connect things uh, with the help of this this uh, the other one is link offset and elevation so when I click here it disappear here the, the property bar so I will close this and uh, I, after uh, I can change this so this link appear here suppose I have median like so I can, uh, can click on the head and after property I can change this suppose this is the right side median I can give new name to right side median and from the parameter I can give the offset from the baseline this 3 meter so I can change 3.65 or 2 meter anything the elevation there is elevation you can give elevation like this and uh, you can see it's a uh, adjusting as lane so like this you can uh, adjust your uh, uh, median the next thing is uh, link offset and slope and the same if you click here it asking for link offset and slope uh, same from as is mentioned from the name if you click here and go to property uh, here this is the offset from the baseline suppose this the width is uh, my width is 2 meter super elevation you can use the, the slope is 2 percent now you can see it's going up suppose this is minus uh, 3 percent so when you enter the minus 3 percent you can see now it's going down side so from here you can adjust your uh, lane and after that you, you can start your uh, same like suppose I have after that I have lane so and then you can uh, copy the the link as it's starting from here so it's work as a link uh, from center line if you have space median like this and after that you can continue your lane with uh, what's, uh, what thing you have the next is uh, link upset on the surface it will uh, if you create this uh, link is uh, it asking for select a, a mark point so for the purpose uh, you must uh, put here the mark point here at the end there is a mark point so uh, suppose I place here the mark point and then uh, when you enter this one uh, select link to the front, select a mark point for this one and this uh, from here it uh, now it's creating if you go to this mark point property there is link on the surface from here it will connect to when you creating uh, cross section it will connect to the surface from here uh, the other thing is uh, link slope and vertical deflection if i click here and, I, and the code of anything there is a link uh, as I go to the properties 
is rise sides of elevation 2% so vertical deflection mean going above this uh, suppose the slope is 0 and now you can see you must uh, give 1.5% orienting slope and uh, you click here You can adjust your uh, width from here according to the uh, slope. As slope, uh, you will give it uh, to this one. Okay, so how much slope you are giving it's uh, the same uh, amount it is uh, changing into the vertical deflection suppose if I uh, decrease uh, the slope now you, you will see you can see this uh, vertical deflection is uh, less so increasing the, the slope now you can see the, the slope increasing the vertical de de deflection is also increasing so if I to put two two put here, and you can see <coughs> the, the deflection is going uh, with the slope. If I reduce the slope here, it will go. Or so increasing the slope. Now you can see. So even from here, you can adjust your uh, uh, the slope of and the vertical deflection of uh, if you have inside your this uh, link code and uh, I've said the other thing is uh, link slope between two point there is uh, link slope to elevation link slope to surface uh, link uh, to a mark point a mark point suppose I have um, here on the um, uh, other side if I mirror this both thing So if I want to connect this point to uh, to this point, what uh, what I'm doing? I create a mark point here at the end of this uh, where there is a chord. Now you can see and uh, give uh, a same name to go to the property and here uh, point name and code. The point code must be the same. So if I give anything here. Uh, datum if i give this code the, this will change so from here if i want to connect from here to there i will uh, create a link to mark point and i will click here in this corner so and also i will uh, i will give him name to uh, this uh, code the same uh, link code this must be the same so uh, when you creating uh, cross section this point will connect to this point automatically the same like here uh, uh, link vertical if you have a vertical uh, line uh, you want to draw a vertical line you can uh, create uh, this one here suppose if I want to create a vertical line now uh, you can see here is vertical line and then you can create a link width and slope uh, for mostly mostly uh, for the median we are using this uh, link this uh, link width and slope uh, for, for most of the median we are using this uh, link if I click here so from here if you go to the <coughs> properties for this one you can adjust the width and uh, the slope on the both sides same like uh, the above we mentioned from here you can uh, adjust your uh, width and uh, slope 
and this is the mark point. Uh, mark point is for connecting this uh, this link to mark point. You must create a, a mark point for this link to.